Hi, this is Jim Sinesco for AFC International, and today I want to talk about how do you fit test, quantitative fit test, an SR100 from Sunstrom or the SR200 from Sunstrom. Um, and I guess any, any Sunstrom mask that has the same exhalation valve setup. Now, Sunstrom is known for one of the only, I think only a few or maybe only one that actually has two exhalation valves, right? And they've done studies that having, by having two exhalation valves, the, the breathing resistance as you exhale is cut in half, right? Makes sense. And it, it's incredibly important that you know that breathing in takes some effort, but also exhaling out takes a lot of effort too. And if you only have one exhalation valve, Sunstrom has done the, the studies and the tests to show it can take a lot out of you over time. So if you're wearing a mask, and by all means, a lot of people lately have been wearing a lot of masks for a long time, you get stressed, your body gets stressed. So the dual exhalation valves really come in handy when you're doing it. Plus, you can see on the Sunstrom, it's got a huge opening, right? So inhalation is very easy. Exhalation is extremely, extremely excellent with this mask. So uh, head and shoulders above anything else on the market. But that's all good. But when we get to fit testing, we want to make sure that that mask seal fits well, right? If we, even if we have these dual exhalations and great inhalation, if I don't get a good mask seal around my face, well, what good is it, right? That's what's going to leak through. So we can do qualitative fit testing. That's the smelly stuff, bit tricks, uh, all that kind of stuff. Or we can do a quantitative. And even though you don't need to do quantitative fit testing on a half face mask, you only need a fit factor of 100, I highly recommend it. Because what a quantitative fit test really give us? It gives us a measure. It gives us a measure of fit. OSHA says, yes, you got to meet the pass of 100 fit factor on a half face. But as safety engineers and safety professionals, what are we really trying to do? We want the best fit, right? Not just a mere pass-fail. I want the best fit. That means picking a mask or a series of masks or different manufacturers of masks that gives each employee the best sealing surface and best fit, right? So, yeah, qualitative is good. Banana oil, uh, uh, irritant smoke, you can do uh, Bitrex, you can do saccharin. Those are all great. But when it really comes down to it, if I have a choice, I'm going to use a quantitative fit tester like the AccuFit 9000. Um, so that is something we can talk about in another video. But if I'm going to do a quantitative, I'm going to have to have a probe. And what does a quantitative fit test do? It's counting the particles inside the masks while you're having it on and then comparing it to particles that are always around us in nature, right? So we always have a super high number of, of dust particles. If I took a particle count of, of my office here, it's, it's dusty. You can't really see it. But when you go home someday and you see that sunlight coming through the window in your house and you see all those little particles, kind of freaks you out, right? But that's the particles. So it's counting the particles outside. And if I got a good seal on my mask, this high efficiency P100 filter is going to make those particles inside the mask zero or pretty darn close to zero. We call that a fit factor, right? So for half face, all we have to do is calculate and come up with a hundred fit factor for half face masks. Anything greater than a hundred is a pass. Anything less than is a failure. But I would say using a quantitative machine, I want to look for the best fit. Now best fit might just be mask changes, mask sizes. It also could be the way I'm putting the mask on, the procedures of how I put that mask on and off. So we can get into fit testing another time, but I want to show you though how we would prepare an SR200 or an SR100 for a quantitative fit test. And it's really, really simple. All we have to do is go to one of the exhalation valves, take the cover off, pull the exhalation valve off, the adapter looks just like our Speakeasy VoiceCom cover. It's the same thing. And it also incorporates an exhalation valve on the outside. But what's special about this fit test adapter, it has a tube that goes from the outside, goes right past the exhalation valve, and the probe comes into the mask so we can take those particle counts inside your mask. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it in and try to get it oriented so that the the tube is out of the way of the, the test person. Snap it over the frame of that exhalation valve. And now I can see that I have, and if you can see in there, there is a little probe. The probe is going to be able to count the particles inside my nose cup and compare them to the outside 
probe air sample that we're getting from the outside. So that's what we would do. This is what we would use. Uh, these adapters are about $40, so they're, we do have them available. So if you have Sunstrom and you need some quantitative fit testing adapters, we can always get them. I would probably reposition this one downward a little bit, maybe go the other way. But whatever's easiest for you. You can see, probably not going to be the best here, but I could reposition it easily by moving that around. But again, this is the Sunstrom fit test, quantitative fit testing adapter, around $40. We do have a couple on the shelf. If you do need them, let us know. And again, let's think about this. If we're going to be ramping up production and manufacturing and getting people back to work, one thing we're going to need to do is get respirators, two fit testing programs and respiratory safety programs, right? Um, so be thinking. Now is the time to put your plan into action. Start ordering your stuff, ordering your mask, ordering your adapters. There's a huge demand for these things. You can't even get respirators half the time. We're lucky to even have adapters for the fit testing. So let's be thinking ahead. Plan your work, work your plan. But that starts now. That starts ordering the products. Call us. We'll take the orders. We'll get you on the lists. When things start to loosen up, product starts to come out, you'll be the first ones to get your stuff. You don't want to be going back to work in two months and then, then think about ordering masks and be behind the curve again. And we all know what that can do, right? So we want to get everybody back to work. We want to do it safely, and we want to make sure that we get the product. So uh, give us a call, 800-952-3293. Uh, for AFC, I'm Jim Sinesco. Oh, and, and look us up at uh, www.afcintl.com. YouTube, you've probably seen us on YouTube, or Facebook. So we have lots of ways you can get a hold of us. Give us a call Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Central Standard Time. Those are our hours. We're based in Northwest Indiana near Chicago. Love you guys all. Be safe. Talk to you later.